relationship expert, Vicky Gower, that's gonna be talking to us about how to navigate a relationship when you're planning a wedding. So Vicky, I gotta say, as the groom or the groom-to-be when you're getting married, I remember, you know, planning the wedding with Mandy. It's one of those things as we never know as men where we stand in the whole process. Are we involved? Should we take a step back? And how do, can we actually be there for our brides-to-be? Well, Mark, I think that we plan everything in our world, right? We plan our education. We plan the birth of our children. We, you know, I planned what I was going to eat next week and what was going to be delivered to my house. So planning your wedding together, I think, is probably one of the most integral things that you can do. And being supportive to each other in that environment is really going to be a bonding experience. Do you think that, because um, you're the woman's ex perspective, right? Do you guys want our opinion? <laughs> yes, 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 of course we do. It's a lot of pressure to plan the wedding on our own. And to feel like our partner wants to be a part of that, not only does it make us feel a little more confident, but it's kind of super sexy, Mark. So I think that having you plan the wedding with your partner is just a great way to decide what are your priorities? What do you want to make sure happens? What do you not care happens? You know, it could be something really simple that you may think she really wants, but she's like, yeah, not a deal breaker for me. So plan it together. Absolutely plan it together. Please talk to each other. Communication is key. You don't want to be 10 years down the road talking about that piece of the wedding that happened that neither of you wanted. That's not fun. And I found that my role in the wedding was a lot of navigating through family issues. What do you think about that? Well, I think that the couple really needs to take into consideration what's important to them. And again, I'm not always popular amongst moms and mother-in-laws, but I think that even if they're throwing money at it, they don't have any skin in the game. They, if your cash or your donation to help the couple with the wedding does not uh, dictate who you can invite. There's no point in inviting your five-year-old friend or the lady that lived next door to you when you were two or when you were born if you don't remember their name. And there's a reason it's called a gift. A gift is, thank you for the gift, now have a seat and enjoy our wedding, right? Absolutely. And you know, and there are lots of people who don't support their children and their weddings financially, and that's okay too, but it doesn't equate to an opinion. So I think that that's just a really important piece. And I think that if you're planning it together, then you've got that support person who's going to ensure that your vision is seen to fruition. I love it. Well, thank you so much, Vicky. My pleasure. Thank you. Guys, that's all the time of today. We will see you next time on The Mark and Mandy Show. Thanks for watching The Mark and Mandy Show. Like our video by clicking below and subscribe to our YouTube channel.